we are on our way to the apple orchard that's the winery and tasting um, I want to try that one out today right there that's what I want to try today um, so yeah we're gonna see what, what what's what's going on what this is about today it is a lot more people out today than it was the very first time I came so I hope I can get us a great video I really do so let's see can we find us a park somewhere that is my mister in front of me <laughs> Yeah, that's my mister. I guess we're gonna park here. I'm gonna go right here. I think I'm gonna get here. And this, is this one is gonna be, this one's gonna be just like having um, liquid apple pie or pie <coughs> to be more ordinary drinks. And is that all you were looking to try today with that apple brandy? I think so. Not bad. Like the taste of it. Because you know I'm not a drinker, so. <laughs> But it's going to be a little bit what less do you think? Up front with an apple mm, yeah, not for me. Not for you? Not for you too sweet? Yeah. No. I just, you do, I don't. Is that the one with the smoky flavor you said? No, 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 no. no. This is uh, the one that's like chai tea. Oh, chai tea. That was the chai tea one. So we're going to try the next one. Water. Oh, I need water. <laughs> she said try water. <laughs> That's good and refreshing. <laughs> Our water is um, if we have a reverse osmosis, otherwise it would smell like volcano fire. No, oh, it tastes like it. Oh. All right. So the next one that you're going to get is going to be the scrumpy. Yeah, this is going to have the smoky flavor to it. You know, you don't have to finish it all. If you don't like it, I can dump it. It's not a problem. That's not so bad. I think it's good. I like it. I have it with barbecue all the time. Really? That's something I wouldn't drink. I mean, I cook with it. I make, we make a pulled pork with it. Oh, wow. Yeah, and it gives it that smoky applewood flavor and a little bit of sweetness, and then you just, you know, you pull the pork apart and you just put some barbecue sauce on it. It's wonderful. Oh! Is that your recipe or you found that recipe somewhere? We share recipes here all the time. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And it's his, I've, uh, I've cooked with it, um, I, I actually soak my brisket in it. I just know, I just know apple. Well, yeah, but even beef is good though. The, the beef brisket with it is really, really good. All right, so the next one that you're going to get, I call this one breakfast food. Okay, you can have Captain Crunch and Crunch Fighters with this one. And why is it breakfast booze? Because it's got jammy kind of like flavor to it. <laughs> you also get some vitamin C and some antioxidants, and your yes. day goes a lot better than starting with orange juice. Oh, we're in a back room. I imagine it will. Are you looking for a tasting? Yeah. yeah. I can take you guys over here. Pretty good? You didn't like that one, huh? <laughs> Damn. I would not lie. <laughs> no, I don't have a problem with that one. You didn't have a problem with that one? No. Nope. Water for you? That one is actually, I, I like that one out of the three. That was the best one out of the three? Yeah, you flip it over to the other. I like the jam. I go drink that one. And, like uh, I said, it's kind of, to me, it's breakfast food. Okay. It does go well with everything. Yeah. Here is. Okay. This is our pear wine. That it's the sweetest thing we've got. We everything else got out. sold out. So if I don't like this right here, I just need to quit. No, if you don't like it, yeah, there ain't going to be nothing else that you don't like here. We're not going to let you taste something you can't buy. That's just me. Right, yeah. Um, I can taste a pear. It's made with the Kamasin Bas dessert pears. 
Oh, okay. Yeah. But you can taste the alcohol in it. Oh, yeah. It's, it's there. It's there. It's there. It's there. It's there. The alcohol is supposed to be tasted somewhere. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it has a dry end on it. That's what the thing is. It has a dry air end. And so that was four. So can we try a You brandy? can do one more. Yeah. Whatever one you want. Okay. You can do a dessert wine or you can do, um, none of our brandies, are, the only ones that are going to be sweet are going to be a dessert wine. Everything else, the spirits, these are all true spirits. So these are 100% alcohol. Do you want to try that or no? You don't want to try that? You can. Oh, well, if you don't want to try, I ain't going to try because I'm not doing that. Well, I got a slight headache, so I don't want to. Okay, could I have a, a, another dessert for a yeah, dessert? How about if we do the, um, the apple dessert? Apple dessert? Okay. Uh, sir, there is room. Would you like a tissue? There's room. I'm glad I ate something. How many of the, uh, <laughs> you can have a total of five cents. Five total. Yep. So if you chose a spirit, you get four. Like okay. no. uh -oh. Her face says no. If you didn't choose a spirit, you get five of them. That tastes like water. That tastes like it got some. It's got brandy in it. Oh, that's why. I got three. That Jamie like that one. Yeah, I think he like that one. So how much is your wine? How much is it arranged in price? Uh, this is going to be, well, the prices are here. Mm. Um, so the wine, the pear wine is 13 and the dessert wines are 22. Okay. Okay. All right. So would you like to get James some? Yeah, I want to get one of those uh, pears and... What's the, the other one? Oh, okay. 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 Right. What was the name of this one right here? The brandy one. This one is the come up. You can't miss the bottle. Oh, okay. It's okay. blue. Okay. It's the only blue bottle we have. And then the other one that you want is going to be the pear one. Can you take a sheet? Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful. Thanks. Life. You too. Okay. So I mean, that being said, you definitely wanted to try something else. They're not drastically Here are the pumpkins. Pumpkins are in the squash family. What shook me, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe not you all, but yeah, I didn't know that. Uh, well, I guess I knew, but I just didn't think of it. Here are some more different types of squash. There are, they are selling out of a lot of their stuff. So yeah. Look at these down here. These are the ones that look like a swan to me with the long neck and the big bodies. Um, these are, are misshaped, but the other ones really look like a swan. These are the Empire Apple. They're semi-sweet, all-purpose variety, great for eating and sauce, pies. So you can make pies and sauces out of this. So there are different types of apples that you can make sauces and pies and whatever you want out of it. Um, I should have asked, so what kind of apple do you make the wine out of? Is there a certain type of apple? Today is so full in here too. Uh, I guess I would not ask. But this is a different looking apple, look at that. More over here. This is a Mac. And here are a few of their Apple products that they have. Like the different wines and uh, hard cider. Yeah, that's not the one cider you get to your kids. That's hard cider. Here are the prices for the apples and cider. Cute little decorations they have here, very inviting. Um, Here's some honey crisp apples. You can get a three pound bag for $5. These are all hand picked apples that's um, really I can say organic because the lady said they use very little pesticides 
uh, for their apples. Um, they have a little bug catcher in the vineyard, not vineyard, the apple orchard. I'm, I'm back with the wine. A little tiny apple, just about that big. Um, but yeah. Oh, here's another kind right here. Golden Russet. This is where we are. We are in Brighton Wood Orchard. So we're going to go out in the orchard and look at the trees. Here are some more spreads and fruit jam, I guess. This is a raspberry spreadable fruit. Um, this is strawberry. And this one is blackberry. Um, there's another one. Apricot. Apricot. However you pronounce it. Apricot or apple. Whatever. Uh, this is um, apple butter. Oh, here's one. It is called uh, Red Raspberry Preserve. You want that? Okay. So he wants the rat, the raspberry one. No, you're good. Thank you. <laughs> I never saw the jalapeno jelly. A lot of people really like it. Really? I have not tried it, um, but it's got kick. It does have a kick. Yeah, it's got a kick. I don't know if I want a kick. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the jalapeno. Oh, plum. We're going to take that one home, too. I remember that as a kid, my mother making plum jelly uh, preserved. So now I found my sidekick. We're going to get ready to go out into the orchard. So we out in the apple orchard field. And this right here, little thing right here, is the bug catcher. It tells them what type of bugs that is in there. Um, in their orchard so that they can treat the apples according to what kind of bugs that is in the orchard. They say that this only attracts um, a certain type of uh, bugs that um, that's dangerous to the apples that it does not attract a bee or anything like that. Anything that's good for the apple it does not uh, uh, catch on to them. Only the ones that um, is a harmful to the apple and they spray very little pesticides so that you know the apple will be as organic as possible and not that um, it will have so many pesticides on it so that's why they have the little bug catchers out here so they'll know what type of bug to actually treat the apples for so they won't always have to uh, put pesticides out so here are some more apples these are huge in size. Look at the how how huge this apple is. Look at this. This is this is almost a palm full of apple. Um, I was just told today that if you buy an apple out of the store and you uh, plant that seed, that you may not get the same apple that you planted. Huh? Go figure, huh? I would never have thought that. I would think that you would always get whatever you plant but no he said just it's just like humans like you know it may go down from generations like you may have someone that's in the family that's part Japanese and by the time 10 generations down the line you know the, the uh, Japanese is no longer you know shown it's there but it, it doesn't show so well so he said that it may go down the line and get you know a different generation of whatever we are not allowed to pick the apples off the tree that's why they have the little store up there that they have pre-picked the apples. And you cannot pick an apple and go, because <sighs> you know, I want to, I, I, I you know, because they look so good. I really want to. I want to bring, huh? A belly full of pesticides. And I also learned today that they do not back in the day where they had the really really six feet tall trees that's really tall and taller they don't have those trees anymore and the reason is is because people was falling off the ladder hurting themselves so you know instead of having the really tall tree 
that produce same in apples as these dwarf trees. So they decided to go to the dwarfs and these are dwarf trees. So now, and also I was told today that apples can be grown in any kind of climate. That even our Wisconsin weather, you still can produce really good apples. And of course, you already know that if you have an apple orchard or trying to raise apples, that there is a lot of maintenance to these doing this. It's not uh, just plant a tree and let it grow. You know, there's a lot of things that you have to do. Uh, the guy who that was telling me about it was trying to get me to join their little club. And I was like, yeah. No, I'm not going to kill some apples. So, family, I hope that you're enjoying this little educational excursion that I am taking you on. It was really fun learning. And as I say, this is a free, 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 free event that you can do that's outside with the little kiddos you read up about a little some apples and you can tell your kiddos about the apples that's in this orchard and it's free only thing that you pay for and then and it's up to your discretion if you want to purchase some apples then that's what you pay for but other than that it is absolutely free to come out here it's absolutely free to taste five wines if you would like so it's a little something for the kiddos a little something for the duds and we all good in the hood so yeah so this is the apple orchard this is brighton brighton woods apple orchard and i think it's located in brighton right brighton that, that's it right yeah yeah i got my sidekick with me Uh, we looking at something. Oh, this tree right here is probably dying. See that hole that's in there? Yeah. You know, they say there is a circle of life. Even trees and plants has a circle of life. Uh, Sometimes they have to die off and you have to plant a new one. You know, and I was told that it was like, really? Yeah, they even have um, a circle of life where they produce this for whatever time and then they stop producing. So yes, family, this is, like I say, it is amazing to see all these different types of uh, apples that's out here. And as far as my eye can see, I can see trees um, but I have yet to see um, a sign to tell me what type of tree I am looking at. So my question is, is how can they tell what kind of tree this is? How do they know? I see a sign that says 25 right down there. What, what does that mean? I am sure the workers know, but I, you know, I have no clue. And I wonder, is this one of the uh, Arkansas black trees? I don't think so. I don't think so. Did you know that any apple that this small like this is considered a crab apple? Uh, very tiny apples are considered crab apples. I did not know that. What is good to know? Being educated about things is, is really great. It's really wonderful. Very, oh, I found the Arkansas Blacks. I found them. I didn't think I would find them, but I found them. Very excited to show you these apples. They are the Arkansas Black. And the thing is about this apple is that it is picked late October. And it is one of the longest lasting apples. You can store this apple, I want to say up to 90 days. And it's called the Arkansas Black. 
Um, look it up. Check her out. Look at that. That looks like a plum almost, but that is a apple. I will be back for one of these. I want to be. I want to taste one. They said do not eat it right away. You want to give it a while for the sugar and the acidity and all of that to kind of mingle together and do that little dance that it do. So when you bite into it, you get that experience that you never experienced before. Well, look at that. And I guess it's called um, black because of the color that it is. It is a deep, dark red. Family, you need to get to the apple orchard so that you can see this for yourself. Cause seeing it on video does not do it justice. Seeing this plum, plum, that's what I was gonna say. Seeing this apple that looks like a plum is amazing. This is your girl, Linda, with the life of a fisherman wife at the apple orchard. As I always say, make your tomorrow better than your today. See you until next time, family.